updated FCC boss Ajit Bai has publicly criticized Apple for not turning on the FM radio receivers in every iPhone, calling it a public safety issue. In recent years, I have repeatedly called on the wireless industry to activate the FM chips that are already installed in almost all smartphones sold in the United States, the U.S. comms watchdog chairman said today. And I've specifically pointed out the public safety benefits of doing so. The issue is all the more relevant, given a series of hurricanes and floods in Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico in recent weeks. When wireless networks go down during a natural disaster, smartphones with activated FM chips can allow Americans to get vital access to life-saving information, Pi noted. I applaud those companies that have done the right thing by activating the FM chips in their phones. He then specifically identifies Apple for criticism Apple is the one major phone manufacturer that has resisted doing so. But I hope the company will reconsider its position, given the devastation wrought by Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria. He said he wants Apple to step up to the plate and put the safety of the American people first. While it is true that Bai has been pushing the case for activating FM radios and phones for some time, he was talking about it back in February, the statement today glosses over a whole range of issues with the FCC and Bai himself. First, while Pi continues his perpetual self-promotion only I can fix this, the truth is that the FCC has been arguing for years that smartphone companies should turn on their FM chips. There have been congressional hearings on the issue. Twelve and a half years ago there was a big push by the National Association of Broadcasters the radio industry's lobbyists to enable FM functionality, and an equally big pushback by phone manufacturers and telcos. The FCC actually has the power to force companies to turn on FM receivers, but the regulator has been wary about taking that approach, even though it insists on the inclusion of certain chips in things like TVs. Former FCC Chair Tom Wheeler told a congressional hearing in 2015 that the issue may be resolving itself in the marketplace in response to a range of companies, including manufacturers LG, HTC and Samsung, as well as Telco's T-Mobile. Sprint, and ATT, turning on their chips. The big holdout is Apple, hence Pay's statement. Why doesn't Pi simply propose and pass an FCC rule that requires the chip be turned on, because he has sold himself as the hands-off regulator? Insisting that phone companies do something that they don't want to would clash with that approach. Why is there an FM receiver in smartphones in the first place? It does not appear to be an FC mandated requirement, but Simple Economics, the most commonly used radio chips in phones, AG, Qualcomm's, and Broadcom's, typically include FM circuitry as standard. It would be too inconvenient to use a chip that doesn't feature the electronics, so it's simply turned off. Plus, in many countries, mostly poor and lower than width countries, the chips are used all the time by people to listen to the radio with their phone. What's the advantage to having an FM receiver turned on? You can receive FM stations for free, without using up any data, and using far less battery power than streaming services. Why are some companies refusing to turn them on, largely because they feel it may conflict with their business models lower data usage or less use of paid for music apps? Free radio or $9.99 a month for Apple Music however, it may be a bit rich for Pi to call out Apple for not doing enough for public safety. Just this week, FCC Commissioner Jessica Rosenworcel called out the FCC and by implication Pi for not doing enough to learn from the recent storms and hurricanes. After Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Sandy, the FCC held hearings to address network recovery, she tweeted. Why won't agency do it for Harvey, Irma Maria she also put out a statement PDF on the matter, noting an FCC report on the storms, but arguing let's not kid ourselves, this is not enough. When these devastating hurricanes began to batter our coastlines, I called for a full commission report on these storms. We need to know what worked, what didn't, and where we can improve our communications infrastructure. Once we know the facts, we need a full plan for fixing the communications vulnerabilities we are finding, including how to deal with the impact on 911 and the interactions between social media and emergency response. Sponsor the joy and pain of buying at Have Your Say page.